Hello everyone, my name is Vesonis and welcome to another episode of the Ark Survival Evolved Building Tips and Tricks Department. Yay, finally another Building Tips and Tricks video. <laughs> it's been a while, but yeah, I did some other stuff, the dev kit videos and that kind of stuff, so let's check it out. Well, if you decide to build a tree platform base and you also want to have the tree platform above and use it as a roof, for, for example, well, you have to think about a few things. Because in the back there you see uh, that tree platform between each other is about uh, 14 spaces, 14 walls. And over here it is the same, it is about 14 walls high. So that's the difference between the lowest one and the highest one. And over here it is way different, so it depends really on the tree. So let's see. And of course if you build on platforms you can use fence foundations or foundations and the foundations yeah normally they will be higher and you can sink them as well and let's see well as you can see already a big difference is on the left it is sticking out a little bit and on the right it's sticking out much more so just place it so as you can see this one is like uh, 13 walls high so this one is 13 walls high and that one is 14 walls high so yeah, the difference is in the thickness of the tree, I guess, and on what snap point the tree platform will be. So just so you know. <laughs> so building on platforms can be really difficult because the, the wooden ones don't have any indicators. So you don't know where to place a fence foundation or foundations and how, how wide this piece over here is. And over here, the metal one is way easier because they have more beams. And this beam over here is, it is two walls wide, at least on the inner part of it and this one here is three walls wide as you can see here and over there yeah you just have the platform and that's it <laughs> and the outside yeah that's a little bit more than three walls wide I think three and a half three and a quarter so that's a little bit more so if you want to have this on the outside well you will have a gap here so you have to fill those gaps with pillars so in order to place yeah something like this you just have to grab a fence foundation just stand here and line it up w w with the beam you see so you can have a nice straight line something like this go in orbital mode and or orbital view <laughs> and yeah try to place it in the middle so sometimes it is a little bit tricky and i think yeah this will be the middle so something like this and just place it well then you just can connect the other ones so connect one here and connect one here as well and as you can see they meet up here and it isn't perfect but yeah that's a little bit finicky and you have to figure that out for yourself because as you can see here i haven't placed it uh, precisely along the beam so yeah that can be a little bit tricky but this is how you can manage to close the gaps here and as you can see you have to think about how to place the fence foundations <laughs> because now they are snapping to some other snap points so keep that in mind and yeah you can finish off building and if you want to have foundations and that is also easy because let me see as you can see here this beam over here in the middle that fits perfectly on the foundation so what you want to do is line it up again and something like this and yeah I think this will be it so you can place it and it's perfect in the middle so you can place another one here and another one on this side so yeah that can also work so so as you can see here they meet up but yeah this doesn't look nice at least in my opinion this doesn't look nice I don't like the height difference I like the looks of the platform but what you can do is you can sink down the foundations so lowering platforms work the same as on the ground or on other platforms just put a pillar right in the middle and place another foundation and as you can see you can place it on a lower point so you can do that and you can lower it to a certain point let us skip to that so this is the lowest point you can place a foundation because as you can see here let's try it out and yeah as you can see it is obstructed so you can't place any lower than this so yeah now you know the lowest point 
And before we're going to continue on building on a wooden platform, let me show you the outside. So the outside border. Let, let me see. And I think you can hear my cat. Hey, what's up? Maybe my cat want to be in a video. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, take a fence foundation and go stand over here. Line it up with the outside. And let us see, go in orbital mode again. Oh, I need to have it way closer. So something like this. And yeah, place it in the middle again. So it's not perfect. And yeah, something like this. And then you can place the other fence foundations. So place them here and place them here as well. Well, as you can see, you will get a gap here. So yeah, I, I, I don't like the gaps. <laughs> I really don't like the gaps. But yeah, you can use pillars for that. So as you can see here, as you can see, I placed the fence foundations here as well. The same as I did over there. And let's place a pillar. So as you can see, you will get a small gap in here. And also, yeah, the inner pillar is the same small gap. And if you like this, well, then go do this. And then you can place walls here. Or if you like to have it as a railing, then you can also place the pillars and place up the railing here. So that's all up to you. And let's go on to the wooden platform. So on the wooden platforms, you have no indicators as we did over there with the metal. So that's too bad. We just have the beams. And to place a wall like this and to, to have it reach each other in the corners, it is way harder to do that. And yeah, you can do that by placing something here and, and try it out, but that is way too hard. And uh, Monkey Puzzle showed a nice trick for that. And if we follow up this beam here, we are going to use this beam and we're going to use the middle. So let's try it out. So let's find the middle, something here. Let's go in orbital mode again. Oh, I need it a little bit closer. So something like this. And yeah, line it up with those beams in the middle. So it can be a little bit tricky, but I think something like this. And then we go to this beam over here, as I said before. Then you go to the outside of that beam. So a little bit further, something like this. And then what you want to do is the fence foundation, the bottom of it near the blue cross will be meeting up in the middle. So I think about this, something about this, I guess. So something like this and let's see, let's play some fence foundations now. That's one and come on, that's another one and this one as well. So, and <laughs> as you can see, I'm I'm off now. So yeah, uh, maybe I didn't place this one uh, right along the beam. So yeah, that, that is a little bit tricky and you have to try it out. But at least now you know how to get it a little bit more in place and how you can better connect it with each other. Well, if you don't want to have a small balcony like we do over there and you want to have walls on the outside as well, well, you're just going to place the fence foundations and yeah we don't have an indicator for the middle like we do over there so we have this piece over here as an indicator so we're going to place the fence foundations until this part so line it up as good as possible with the outside line so something like this go into orbital mode again and I think something like this let's see how it goes I think this will be it. Okay. So, and I was running back and forth to check out if I'm going straight or not. So, something like this. So, grab another one, place it, and another one, place it. And you have a small gap here, and a small gap here. And you can close that off with the pillar. So, you have the same as we do over there. And now we're going to place it over here as well. So start up with this side again. So place the fence foundation again. And now you can place a pillar. And still you are going to have a gap there. Well, that's so bad, but yeah, that's the way how it is. And it isn't perfect. And I know if you don't want it, it's ugly, but it's the best I can do. 
And now you also want to have ceilings to the outside because some people don't think this platform is, is wide enough, is big enough. So they want to extend to the outside. Well, you can extend with two ceilings. So what you want to do for that is place a wall. And <laughs> I placed fence foundations on the wrong side. But yeah, that's okay. I'm just showing you the building technique. So place two walls down and you can place a ceiling. And let's demolish this. So we're going to do that. And this one as well. And as you can see now, this is one extending. And you ex can extend two. Just like the normal way when you place it on a pillar, you can extend two. And not, in, not more. So just like that. So you're going to do the same thing here as well. And... You can extend even further as you can see. So le let us extend even further. So just like that. And we are going to extend this one as well. So it is all nice, nicely lined up. And as you can see we have the same corner here. It is nice, nice and tidy. It is not perfect. I know it's not perfect. But it's about the same as with the tower build I did. It has also this nice little corner here. And if you like it. Well, you can keep it this way and let us see. Can we place walls here? No. So, on the outside you can't place walls, as you can see. It is obstructed. And I think the other way around doesn't work. Oh, look at that. The other way around works. <laughs> that is awesome. So, you can do that. Oh, that's cool. I really didn't think that would work. So, let's destroy it. So... If you place the left one first, you can place the right one. But if you place the right one first, you can't place the left one. So a nice little trick. Place the left one first. And then you can place this one. So let's take a look on the outside. Oh, this is awesome. So it will look like this. So that's nice. And on the bottom it will look like this. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I really didn't know this part over here. I really thought it would be obstructed like it showed before. But yeah, you have a nice trick now and you can close it. So you can extend with two ceilings to the outside and you can place walls. So that, that's awesome. So nice little trick to finish off this episode. <laughs> oh man, oh, that is so nice. Okay, before I'm gonna end the episode, let's try this building technique also with metal. Because sometimes uh, the building materials will act differently. So let's see, I've extended again two ceilings and that, what was it? Left first and then right, um, or was it right first and then left? Let's see, nope. So with metal it doesn't work. Let's see, maybe I can find out something. With wood it does work. So why it doesn't work with metal I don't know. But let's try this. Let's place a metal one. And now, no, yay! <laughs> We did it! So you can work around and yeah, it works. So first place the wooden walls and then you can place the the metal ones. And maybe it works the same with stone. Maybe stone will work in one time and otherwise use the wood first and then the, then the stone ones. So awesome. <laughs> this is a nice way to end the episode. So I hope to build a PvP base soon with the metal ones so we can see and if that will work or not. Yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and if you enjoyed then leave a like and don't forget to share with your friends. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave it in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already and you want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. And some zillows. Oh fuck. I mean, uh, <laughs> um, I'm already stuck. <laughs>